Are you ready to start manifesting your desires faster? Oh yeah, give me a thumbs up, hit that like button. I'm Andy Dooley, and I am the creator of the Manifestors Cafe, co-founder of Touch.com. And today I wanna to share with you how you can start manifesting your desires faster. Because I know it's annoying, isn't it? You've been asking for what you want, you've been working towards it, and it just seems to elude you. Or worse, your best friend gets what you want, and they weren't even asking for it? <laughs> Don't you hate that? All right, so to start manifesting faster, there's a simple formula called the three A's. And the first A, you probably already guess what it stands for, appreciation. This is an emotion, this is a feeling. And when you start appreciating the journey, appreciating the challenges, appreciating yourself and how far you have come on this journey, you're gonna start feeling better. And what's so good about feeling better is because everything's energy. And when you feel better on the inside, then you start attracting better things from the outside because how you feel is how you attract. You wanna write that ship down because that is important and it's with you for the rest of your life. How you feel is how you attract and that's a fact, Jack. So appreciation, what are you appreciating right now in your life? Leave a comment down below, I'd love to know. I comment on all comments. <laughs> I'm appreciating you for watching this video. That raises my vibe. I appreciate that there's platforms like YouTube where anybody can create and put out a message and inspire and uplift others. Isn't that cool? So if you're not appreciating things in your life, I mean really appreciating, because it's one thing to just say, oh, I'm appreciating things, but ask yourself, are you really taking time every day to appreciate the challenges. Here's a key phrase. Can you appreciate the unfulfilled desires? Because most of us curse the unfulfilled desires. Blah, 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 it hasn't manifested yet. What's going wrong? What am I doing wrong? Is it Mercury? Is it Venus? <laughs> Is it my chakras? Really, if you could just come back to the present moment and appreciate what you do have, appreciate the journey and the unfolding, man, your life would be so much better and you start manifesting faster. So start appreciating, that is the first A. And I have written an awesome book, you can read it in 20 minutes, it's completely free, it's called The Five Steps of Deliberate Creating. Definitely download it today, it'll blow your mind, and it'll help you accelerate your desires into reality faster than ever before. All right, let's continue. The second A to manifesting faster is alignment. What does that mean, alignment? It's not the alignment in your car, it is being in alignment with your higher self, with your heart, and being in alignment with your desires. So you have to align with the feeling. So let me ask you, right now, if you were to manifest the thing that seems to be taking forever to manifest, if you had it right now today, I could, I could hand it to you right here, and you could take it right from me, what would you feel? Would you feel joy? Would you feel happy? Would you feel security? You know, if you want money, usually security and freedom go with money. Whatever it is you want, you've got to start feeling it in advance because here's one of my key phrases I coined years ago. Write this ship down. It's feeling first, manifestation second. It is always, for the rest of your life, it's always going to be feeling first, manifestation second. You've got to consistently, that's the key word that kind of screws everybody up because maybe you feel it in the morning and you're optimistic as you start the day, but then as by the end of the day, you're feeling you know angry and upset and frustrated and it's taking too long and you don't like the way you look and blah. And so you've got to consistently feel good, consistently feel and align with what your desire is going to give you once you manifest it. So start feeling the good feelings now. Don't let reality dictate how you feel. <laughs> Don't let reality kick your ass. That's another mistake we fall into, is we allow reality, the situation, to dictate how we feel. And you can't let reality determine how you feel because then you're a victim to reality. You're a victim to your own emotions. <laughs> Don't play the victim. You are a deliberate creator. And that's what deliberate creating is about. It's something I teach in my Manifestors Cafe. Number three, you've got to, you've got appreciation, alignment, and the third one is allowing, right? The law of allowing taught by Abraham Hicks, really profound. I love Abraham Hicks and I wanna share something about allowing because we think allowing it to happen would be easy. But see, we get caught up because we're humans doing. We get caught up in doing all this stuff and it's okay to do things, especially if it's inspired and you're enjoying it. But when you're doing things to make it happen and you're forcing it, that's when you're gonna slow it down and push it away from you, actually. So the law of allowing, allowing yourself to receive it, and you allow yourself to receive it by, go back to appreciation 
and aligning with the vibration, the feeling of the desire. You have to become the energy of your desire. Uh, one of my best friends, Kat Dawes, Dawes Doors, says, you don't make it happen, you make it welcome. And how do you make it welcome? Hmm? How do you make it welcome? You make it welcome by becoming the energy, by visualizing it, by feeling, by telling the story. One of the tools I've developed over the years of coaching and doing my members cafe is story manifesting. You tell the story, and I know you've heard this before, maybe it's called scripting, however it is, but have you done, uh, written down a story? Have you scripted it out? Can you get into the details and feel the emotion, the joy, the fun, the laughter, the celebration of it? A one page story of how you're now living the dream and how fun it was to manifest it and how fun it was to see all the pieces coming together and how it just fell into your lap and now you have the business, you have the relationship, the healthy body, whatever it is you want, tell the story in advance. That takes practice and most people don't deliberately do that and that's why your manifestations are taking so long. All right, so let's quick recap. Number one, you gotta appreciate, appreciate everything, appreciate yourself, appreciate the unfulfilled desires. Number two, you've got to align with the divine. You are divine. And remember, everything you want already exists. You just gotta tune yourself to that frequency of that new reality that you wanna experience all the time. It's consistency and it's feeling first, manifestation second, forever. For the rest of your life, it's always feeling first, manifestation second. And the third key to manifesting faster is allowing yourself to feel good, allowing your desires to come to you, doing less, not more, giving yourself a break, having fun, enjoying the journey. I know it's a cliche, but you really got to enjoy the journey. And then you'll manifest faster. By the way, I've written a book, The Five Steps of Deliberate Creating. It's inspired by the teachings of Abraham Hicks. If you wanna read it, you can read it in 20 minutes. Uh, the link is below this video and you can download that book and read it and you will learn the five steps of deliberate creating and you will accelerate your desires into reality and you'll be blown away with how amazing and magical your life will become because you are now deliberately creating and you're using the three A's. All right, so be sure to subscribe to this video. Click on the like button. Please subscribe. And I'm Andy Dooley. Thank you so much for watching and have a bitchin' beautiful day and namaste.